everybody knows that one of the biggest things that Americans and British people notice about each other right off the bat is that we have kind of different ways of speaking the same language. And it's not even just the accent, which can be really funny. A lot of times it's even just the terminology that we use and the way that we refer to things. I'm not gonna say it's a language barrier, but actually there have been times when I've been a little confused or I've said something in American and I've confused the heck out of a British person. So today I'm going to tell you guys some of my very favorite Britishisms. One thing that I talked about in my last uh, American British video was the cheers thing. It's just really cute. I don't know why. It just is. Another thing a lot of British people say is fancy. If you fancy something, you really like it. Or if you fancy someone, that means you really like them. And something that some British people might say about somebody that they fancy um, is that they're fit. Now, I think this one is typically guys referring to girls, but I don't actually know. It might be starting to come to the US. So I'm not actually sure. But if I say someone is fit, I'm usually referring to like, they're athletic, they're in shape, they're fit, but here that means they're good looking or they're attractive. You think that they're hot. Something that a lot of, I think, slightly older British people say, and it might be because I'm a girl, I don't know, but they'll, they'll call people love. Just yesterday I was in Boots getting some mascara or something and this lady needed something right behind me and she walked up to me and she said, excuse me love. And I don't know, I've been called love a lot of times since I've been here. It just still makes me smile every time. British people also tend to say lovely quite a bit. And I think I've actually picked this one up really fast, mostly because I really like it. It's probably a little overused. I mean, I'll give it that. In America, we have stuff like awesome that people just use way, way, way too much. Another common one is proper or properly. It's just another one of those little terms that we use in the US, but we don't use it quite as commonly or quite in the same way. Typically proper for us, I think is more formal, like you have proper manners or something. You act properly, as in like, sit up straighter or something. One of my very favorite British words that I've actually heard a lot more than I expected is cheeky. Oh my god, I love this word. I don't know why, it just makes me laugh every single time. I guess because it is so incredibly British and we don't use it at all in the US as far as I know. But when something's, I guess, slightly inappropriate or often it, I find it refers to little innuendos or if you do something that's not quite respectful to the person or I don't know, I guess just inappropriate is the best word that I can think of. But that's cheeky and I still haven't been able to say it because it just feels so weird but I just love it. I have heard so many people when they don't want to do something or they're feeling too lazy to do it or they're not in the mood, they say they can't be bothered. And I think this is another one that I've actually picked up and started to say just because I like it so much and because I hear it all the time. But this is one that was actually new to me when I came over here. I wasn't aware of it as far as I know. I haven't really heard it in that many TV shows or anything. Like a lot of these I, I sort of knew existed just because, you know, Doctor Who, Harry Potter, Sherlock, all those other things that I spent way too much time watching. But I literally hear it on a daily basis here. Another one that I'm not actually sure that I've heard seriously is taking the piss out of something, which feels really, really dirty for me to say because not really that nice of a word in America. But apparently when you're making fun of someone or just making a joke out of something, you're taking the piss out of it or something. Am I even explaining that right? Now that I think about it, I actually feel like I've heard more so like my American and Canadian friends saying this one just jokingly because it's supposed to be British and apparently they hear it, but I can't actually think of a time that I've heard a British person saying it. Another funny thing that I hear all the time, like day-to-day -day basis, that really threw me off was when you say thank you to someone, a lot of times they'll respond with, that's all right. To me, when someone says that's all right, that's in response to saying I'm sorry. So if you bump into someone, you say, oops, sorry, or pardon me, and the person says, that's all right. That's how I'm used to hearing that. So every time I would say thank you to someone, if they held the door for me, if they moved out of my way or anything like that, and they said, that's all right, I would stop for a second and think, wait, should I have apologized? Were they being sarcastic, saying like, that's all right? Like, expecting me to have said sorry. And of course I had to figure out quite quickly that that was actually just a natural response to thank you. Because otherwise I would have spent this entire year thinking that I should have been apologizing for everything that I did. And one more Britishism that I think is actually a little bit funny is what they call the US. It seems like almost every British person that I talk to will refer to the US as America or sometimes the States. And sometimes when people ask me where I'm from, I'll just automatically say America now because I'm just sort of used to it because people say it so much. But still, I usually just say the US or the United States because that's just what we call it. Let me know in the comments some other things that are specifically British that might be kind of quirky or funny, or if you're British, maybe say some Americanisms. Maybe even stuff that I say, because I probably say a lot more Americanisms than I realize. I've actually had loads of people tell me that I have a really American accent. My emphasis on the really part, because I know I'm American, but how does it, how is it a, a really American accent? Should I be worried? 